rocket rush each other and have like a 5,000 <laughs> APM battle in the center of the field. But sadly, yeah, no, I, that, that can't I, happen. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just, I just give up and walk away at that point. <laughs> But I really like to see those games sometimes. I mean, maybe not two games in a row, but I like when players are mixing it up, not just going for that that same macro style over and over again. I really like when when you see that that creativity. So uh, nice to see something different. But uh, now I hope for a macro game. Yeah, I, I I'd like to see something that's not uh, not a two racks. But look at the rally on Flash's SCV. He's actually sent <laughs> all the way to the top. Okay, no. no. <laughs> the, ra the rally on that command center, I was like, no, please. <laughs> please, no. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to be an 11-11 rack. There are no SVs going out on the map. Just the one to build the, uh, the supply depot. So, yeah. <laughs> Probably we are going to see a, 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 a game that is a little bit longer, at least. I'm okay with that. I actually, I was actually have no problems at all with seeing a somewhat normal game. But uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is going to drone scout. He is. He doesn't want to take that risk. And Flash, that SCV timing is. Is he gonna try to block that base again? Oh wow! Yeah, he might. <clears throat> the Overlord should see this SCV going across, though. He does catch a glimpse. Yeah, but he will barely be there in time. Let's see. Okay, so Yu-Gi-Oh was actually. And the drones yeah. are going down earlier than normal. I don't know. Nah, I think that he was trying to go for a 15 hash. That's a normal timing, but he kind of uh, oh, made it. it oh, no. A, oh, here we oh, go again. No. I please don't you proxy hash. Yu-Gi-Oh must be so hard. Yu-Gi-Oh, where, <laughs> where's so your drone? Now. Where's what's your drone doing? Okay, he changed his mind. He, he went into the main, he came out. Good good boy, Yu-Gi. Don't. But this time, um, Flash is actually making uh, making a barracks and not the command center first. So I think that uh, this game is going to turn out a bit differently. We see the gas going down from Yu-Gi-Oh. Good choice because he's going to have too many minerals if uh, he can't get that hatchery down in time. So, uh, oh, he's actually taking the third base, and that also makes sense to take the gas then because you want the speed out as soon as possible if you want to uh, be able to. Um, to play safe with with this very fast third base at or second base at a different location. Yeah. Um, Flash. Now, no. Flash is the ultimate mind game. Um, this this game is already very weird. I would have I, I don't know, I would have lost it if he like threw a bunker outside this third base or something because he went straight <laughs> to the barracks when he went for the CC last oh, game. Oh, that would have been so funny. Yeah. But what does Yu Gi Oh even do in this situation? Like this is so weird. If Flash just goes straight into Hellions, there's not going to be anywhere near enough creep spread to protect both of those bases without building spine crawlers, and it's it's going to be a huge economic sink for Yu Gi Oh. I don't know. It's I'm a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be really tough. Yeah, I I don't disagree with getting the getting a the extractor but i do disagree with not doing anything at all with it he mined 50 gas and then stopped he's being indecisive uh, i think is is probably yeah. his biggest problem no he started mining gas again so i guess he just wanted to get that uh, third hatchery out as soon as possible so um yeah he's gonna get the speed out probably gonna stop mining gas after that since he has the three hatcheries he needs to get those queens out he might even need to get the spine crawler or something or he might skip building drones in one of the hatcheries because it's gonna be too hard to defend versus hellions um i think yeah i i have to i tend to agree with that um i i personally just think this creep spread is going to be a huge issue throughout the entire opening segment of this game but I guess. I yeah, guess I guess he's really... gonna use the queen now. Let's see in the third base. Yeah, he uses it for. No, he uses it for an inject. I th I was so sure that he was gonna use it for a creep tumor since he will have so much larva anyway. He has more larva than he can use since he since since he made that fast third base. Um, so yeah, no creep spread whatsoever. That's a bit surprising. Yeah, it really it really is. It's. You know, the queens take long enough to move around the bases, but the other thing is, because you really need your natural expansion, especially for that creep spread, Flash kind of knows, seeing that third hatchery, what, what he's forced Yu-Gi-Oh to do, and Flash wants to abuse that by going for Hellbat drops. <laughs> Uh, this is like the perfect response, I think, from Flash. And this is not very... I mean, I don't think that Yu-Gi-Oh expects this, because it used to be so, so common in CVTs, but after the Hellbat nerf, we haven't really seen it that much. It's still very good, but not as good, uh, of course. And uh, yeah, I just think it's so funny that he's going for it. And I think I think it's gonna work like really, really, really well. 
Yeah, it's 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 weird because he got him off the gas, so he's not going to build anything like Roach's, um, at least not anytime soon. In fact, we we should see him just now start his what? Okay, he's going to go new Mattisized Carapace. That's fine. So he wants to get the the Overlord speed to scout with. But by the time it by the time he has it, the Hellbats will already be on their way to his base. So that doesn't yeah. really help him. It doesn't really help well, him at all. No Roach were on either on the way. Uh, let's see, how many queens does he have? He has three queens, and he is making... Oh, he's supply locked. Uh, or he was, but there is uh, two more queens on the way, so that will help. He's going for the Baneling Nest, that's how he wanted to defend, but I think that he would really need that Roach War now, uh, and a few Roaches in, in in each base, almost, because... Um, because, yeah. No, Hellbats I, I, are, are pretty good. Now the Overlord is going to come in here to the main base of Flash, and he's going to scout. Oh, but he didn't see... Ah, okay, he saw the Hellbats, so even though he didn't see the armory, he knows that it's Hellbats drop coming here. Yeah, that makes it so tough. We have a uh, regular Hellions trying to press the natural at the same time, being deflected for now, but it buys time for the Hellbats. And these things two-shot uh, Zerglings in AoE. They are so damn good versus regular Zerglings. It's It's... It's hard to describe, and it's... I don't even know. Yeah. Wow. The Zerglings are not doing too well versus those uh, Hellbats, and let's see. He only got one worker kill, though. But uh, looking at the lost tab, there are quite some quite some links lost. Um, actually, not as much as I thought, to be honest. But we should also remember that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh lost a lot of mining time here, and that's also important. Yeah. yeah definitely. But uh, let's let's see here. So there's that roach one that you mentioned. We have the lair, the carapace upgrade, which is kind of interesting. Uh, going for carapace before any attack upgrades. Yeah, it's a bit interesting versus the hellbats, but uh, versus marines, the uh, like links are so much stronger with the carapace than with the plus one attack. So it makes sense versus marines, um, I would say. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I don't really know what he's going for. Okay, so he's going for Roachhorn and Spire. So I guess he wants just a few safety roaches, and then he's going to go for Mutalisks to try to, to deal with this. But this Marauder Hellbat uh, force from Flash, I think it will be unstoppable, actually, with, with what Yu-Gi-Oh has right now. Especially since he's spending so much money going into both Baneling Speed and uh, and Spire at the same time. So, And this is, this is a really... <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to stop this, like, normally, even. This is a situation where you really want to have Banelings together. Um, and there are now three on the way, but those Marauders will also tank them quite well. You need a lot of Banelings to make this work. And at the same time, on the left, we have the Viking going around picking off Overlord. So, he's got two Spines to defend this Yu-Gi-Oh. He also has four Queens. Lots of transfusions. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is supply think... block, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If he transfuses, he should be okay. But uh, that first spine crawler does not get any transfuses. The banelings hit some of the hellbats, but not enough of them. And these banelings are just streaming on through. And he should be able to knock Flash back. Uh, well, I wasn't you... aware of how much energy he actually had on those queens. He had so much energy, and that's wow. And he got the kill on that medivac. But yeah, wow. Uh, those queens really saved the day, I think. Uh, and the Banelings, as you say, and now he will have Baneling speed. He has Roach speed on the way, so uh, I think that it will be hard for, for Flash to, to do some new push here uh, versus the tech that is out for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's quite nice. He's doing this nice micro dance, but I love like, looking at uh, Flash's constant rallying of, the, of these units. Here's the problem, though. Mutalisks are about to come out. Flash is Marine count. Three. He's ex <laughs> invested himself purely in this Marauder Hellbat. Look, he's got three barracks with wow. tech labs on them. He's been pumping out only this composition for a little while. He's and continuing to making Marauders, only Marauders. Yeah, this is this is his number one. The number one weakness of this build is yeah, uh, is definitely. the Mutalisks. So this is going to be tough. So let's see. He's going to push out now. He has a Viking out. That's, that's about what he has uh, as anti-air. Uh, but I guess he will see soon enough that Mutas are coming, but I don't think that he will see it in time to be able to build something. Okay, so now he sees the, the Mutas. He knows that there are Mutas out. Let's see what how he reacts. He's making Vikings, that's his reaction. Um, no Marines, some turrets coming up, so... Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be in time. I, I think the issue here, or at least one of the issues, is that by... Um 
by trying to get the Vikings out, he's he's kind of desperate because he really needs to get his third base landed, so he wants everything humanly possible. Um, and he also may have decided he doesn't want to lose this series. Not so sure about that yet. But um, this counterattack from Yu-Gi-Oh can be really strong. I just say, you know, the, the ground forces are more than enough, but that, that air army is such a pain. Thankfully, the medevacs make killing marauders with mutalisks, like, impossible. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very tough here. Uh, Widow Mines are out, and... Uh, yeah, I guess Yu-Gi-Oh might not have enough, but I think that he should be able to find some places to attack. He could be annoying, attack the command center for a while. Uh, but also, we should remember that it's gonna be very, very hard for Flash to take a third base now. There is just far too much units from, from Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh, with those Mutas, he's gonna be able to contain Flash on two bases for a long time. And at the same time, Yu-Gi-Oh is taking a, for a, third, a fourth base. Sorry. Uh, and going for that Burrow, so I think that um, when Yugo gets up to that fourth base economy, it's going to be tough for uh, for Flash to keep up. Yeah, it, it's really all about exploding the economy and just getting out tons of ridiculous amounts of production. We we kind of talked about this um, in in the matches where we had uh, Snoot as well. Although this is kind of like that Roachling Bane, except there's also Mutalisks mixed in. It's not really sticking to one or the other. He kind of has this general mix. And look at this, 16 drones in the production tab. He wants to saturate that base immediately. But, yeah. uh, you know, there's the Oh, Lions he's making there. so many so many spine crawlers too. It's a bit funny. Um, I would have guessed that he wanted to mine with those drones for like a minute or two and then start to, to make those spine crawlers. But he wants to be playing safe, better safe than sorry, I guess. And uh, that creep is going to delay the third base from Flash, but he's going to be able to take it now. But look at the time. It's 16.30 into the game. Yu-Gi-Oh is on four bases, almost fully saturated, and Flash didn't get his uh, third command center to land yet. So uh, very delayed third base for Flash. Yeah, this is one of the last situations you want to be in as a Terran player. Locked out of your third, and the Marine count still really not that high. He's going to rely purely on the Bane Links to get rid of those Marines. Um, from that bio count and here the Bane Leaves come charging in at the front bait out some of the Widow Mine shots the marine count is uh, is holding strong though he's killed off but the majority of them but I think Yugo should pull up back here now okay he he will be able to to kill those marines I didn't see all the reinforcements uh, but he had to take care of those marines and now he did uh, I think that Flash will be able to push this back for now though but looking at the supply 147 to 100 for Yu-Gi-Oh uh, so yeah okay Flash got his third base down uh, he's fine. He he managed to stop the push from Yu-Gi-Oh, but yeah, it's gonna be tough to come back. Uh, Hive is on the way for that 3-3. Oh, okay. Wait, so Yu-Gi-Oh still only has the one evolution chamber upgrading. Uh, he's gonna start the uh, the one three soon, I guess, uh, since he has the Hive on the way and the second evolution chamber added. Lots and lots of banelings coming in here, though. Yeah, I don't goal. think that Yu-Gi-Oh wants Flash to be able to get up to a three-base economy. <laughs> I, I tell you what, if I was a Zerg player, I would certainly be my number one goal was to prevent Flash from cashing that Bank of America um, all over <laughs> this. So, he, he, I mean, the, the goal is to use the, the Bane Links, kill off the Marines, and then Mutas clean up. But uh, I do like there being a Thor mixed into this. as a, it, makes, it makes deterring the Mutas so much easier. It makes pushing through the Mutalisks so much easier. So, Yeah, I really like that choice, too. Uh, oh, that Widowmine actually got a good hit off of all of those Mutalisks, basically. So uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has to go back uh, for a little bit with those, try to heal them up. Uh, they're healing really fast now, though, so it's not going to be a problem. But uh, taking too many of those hits can be very dangerous as a Zerg player. More drones are coming up, more spines, spores, and Mutalisks. So uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is setting, him up, setting up a really good defense at home, so uh, he will not die to any drop play. That's really good. He, he's basically save versus drops. Yeah, that's, that's really all you need to do, and then you can be as active with your Mutalisks as you want, and really you can kind of make these pushes with uh, some form of impunity, and now as he begins to make his push out, he's, uh, he's clearing out the creep. He's got a huge force, but you know, that supply for Yu-Gi-Oh is just so scary to look at. Here we go, he's got the aimings coming in from the left. I don't know what makes him think he'll get these big connections, but he's at least hitting a couple people wrong. Yeah, but all of those spine crawlers together with this huge force of Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't think that Flash will be able to, to stop all of this. Maybe with some really huge uh, mine hits, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, falling down in supply more and more. And uh, those spine crawlers are actually gonna help out quite some here. 
it will be terribly hard for Flash to move into this. That Thor did some really good damage to those Mutalisks, but it had to fall and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh will be able to clean this up. And I guess he will just continue to reinforce with units and just attack from here. Yeah, Flash is uh, he's in a pretty bad spot. Uh, down less than 100 supply to 171, just so far behind. Yu-Gi-Oh is... Yu-Gi-Oh's got to be proud of himself. He's he's played he's played a hell of a series so far. It's been a very crazy, weird series that <laughs> I think will make a lot of people uncomfortable and have to give them difficulty sleeping at night. But it was it was a good series. Um, and yeah, I think so. I like the proxy hatcheries. Yeah, those proxy hatcheries. Like what the hell? All he needs to do is finish the game. That's it. As long as just no, he's not he's not Mark Sanchez. He can do this. Um, and Flash still has that crippled economy. And the thing is, not only is that third base. Uh, being just peeled through. He's got like yeah. nothing left in the main and the natural, so these mutas can just do so much. And now he's just sniping, sniping these supply depots like it's no big deal. Yeah, and also something that Yu Gi Oh is doing that's really, really good that many Zerg players are forgetting is that he's continuing to, to spread the creep. Uh, Flash went in and cleaned up so much of the creep, but Yu Gi Oh just takes out some more queens and try to get that creep spread up and running again because it's really, really important for, for taking good fights as a Zerg player. So well done there by, by Yu Gi Oh. And also, his defense is just superb. There's nothing Flash can do, and he's even taking the fifth base. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just really impressed by how Yu Gi Oh is playing here. Yeah, I mean, Flash is somehow getting his supply up, but this is his, it's going to be his final life. You know, it's like he he put in a couple quarters, but that's it. He's out. He we this this arcade game is about to end, and if, if unless he unless he makes some sort of miracle happen, I, I don't know if he's going to have much more time left here. Um, since since Yu Gi Oh is just slowly consuming the map. Look at that creep spread. He's got majority of yeah. the map under his vision even just looking at his vision you're just like wow he's he sees everything there's no way flash can even think about getting on the aggressive the only benefit as far as that goes is that flash uh well i don't know there's not really any overlords spread around in the skies anymore but um, and i just love how he's adding on the spine crawlers everywhere he knows that the only way he's gonna die now is if flash magically gets drops in like every base and he he gets trouble defending but that's not gonna happen for sure even in his fifth base the first thing he did was to put down all of those spine crawlers so yeah really well played and uh flash once again has to to clean up this creep and uh, even if he cleans it up it will still be there for quite some time so um, it will still be in favor of of Yu-Gi-Oh for taking fights. Yeah, he's 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 got the upper hand here. He's lost about a thousand more resources, but that's slowly going in his favor. You have a big Zergling counterattack uh, over at the uh -huh. Natural expansion. Lots of his SCVs in danger. He's gonna pick off some Marines, a Marauder here or there, and there it is. GG Yu-Gi-Oh. Two wow, one. Really well played by Yu-Gi-Oh there. Flash. Uh, really impressive. 